Hi there, Lee Griggs Arnold, rendering specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go through this very cool cartoon bedroom and corridor scene by the Cartoon Factory. Okay, so we've got the scene here in 3ds Max, and we've got some Arnold lights set up in the scene, combination of quad and point lights. If we go to the modifier list and at the bottom, there you can see the AOV light group. They've all been given light group names, which we can use later on with the image light mixer. So let's start off an Arnold render view. So under Arnold, Arnold render view. So we've got our scene rendered in Mixedway. We've got some images set up here, image of light mixer and the denoiser optics. If we disable the denoiser optics, you can see it's cleaning up the some of the noise in the indirectly lit areas. So for the image of light mixer, we can see some of the AOV light groups have been automatically brought in for us from the lights that we set up earlier. So we can disable some of these lights quite quickly and easily. Uh, maybe change the exposure, change the tint color of the light quite quickly and easily. And then if we create a snapshot and then reset the lights back to where that they were before, and then we can compare and contrast the lighting setups quite quickly and easily. So we have a look at some of the render settings in the scene. Just going to close that. And up up the render setup window. You see we're using camera A samples five and quite low diffuse samples. Considering we're rendering interior, we need to increase the diffuse samples. So if we disable the denoiser optics and focus on it's just this noisy indirectly lit corner of the room here. Press control F just to snap into that area. Now, if we want to focus on just the lighting and the sampling, we could either change the shading to lighting here or under the diagnostics tab, we've got the ignore textures. So you see the two diffuse samples, we're getting quite a lot of noise. I'm going to create a snapshot so we can compare and contrast, increasing diffuse, snap, diffuse samples to five. It's going to take a bit longer to render, but should see a, a clean result. So that's with five diffuse samples, and that's with two. Now, if we're not sure where the noise is coming from, we could always create an indirect diffuse AOV. So under the AOVs tab, click on the manager, and we could just drag and drop an indirect AOV into the AOVs window. Now, if we go to the beauty in the Arnold render view, we've got the indirect drop down here. Change that back to shading. And then we can just focus on the indirect lighting in the scene. So finally, I've enabled the Arnold Denoiser Noise Imager, which is a high quality production ready denoiser. So in this case, I've reduced the diffuse samples and used noise instead to get this high quality image. It's also exposed in the render setup window. You can see the denoiser tab here. So it can be run from this dedicated UI or it's also available as a standalone program, utility noise.exe. However, you'll have to render out the images first via the Arnold EXR driver with various AOVs enabled. Okay, so there's some tips for rendering interiors with Max2A. Thanks for watching. Bye.